So I woke up with this problem in the morning. Um, that was great. I couldn't do anything until that was taken care of. Alrighty, so we live by a lake. And in winter they have um, an ice racing league out on the lake. So when it freezes over, they go and plow a track about three eighths of a mile or so. And um, this thing's like a Mad Max ass demolition derby kind of race. Um, so what they do is they take some old 80s rear wheel drive cars and they convert them to run on this track. So what they do is they either take some self-tapping screws or 5 16 bolts or whatever they can find and they set up the front wheels as much as possible. Um, some guys will even take a stud sharpener to them after that. Um, you can't put studs on the rear wheels though so they take these deep tread tires and they cut them all up so they can grip on the snow and the ice better. So you can see this car here uh, leaning to the side like crazy. Um, that's because he's got a bigger tire on the inside wheels and a whole bunch of weights on the outside to add some extra grip. Um, this car was one of the faster ones and he almost never had um, that front inside wheel on the ground. After that race, we went to go walk around and look at the cars some more. Um, so what they do is they have changeable weights depending on the track conditions and they usually range from 800 to 1500 pounds or so that they put in the back of the car for grip and uh, some guys saw us walking around and they said they needed some extra weight and asked if we wanted to go for a ride and then uh, this happened and let me tell you what it took almost everything you had to brace yourself and film at the same time but anyways the guy in the back seat of this orange car was the spotter and every time he would look back he'd smile and have a drink of his beer and uh, would you guys ever get in a race car with a case of beer? Uh, let me know in the comments below. After the races were done, we figured, well, let's take a cross cart out and see how it does on this track. And uh, it did terrible. It was almost impossible to drive in a straight line, but uh, nonetheless, it was pretty fun to take it out. Just goes to show how impressive those cars really were. <laughs> 